I've just moored the yacht in this spectacular cove in the Greek Ionian Islands. We've named it Katikabanyo for reasons which actually will become evident quite shortly. Meanwhile, let's see what Norel's up to in the galley. Well, hello, Calispera, and welcome back to my galley. Um, we are in the most beautifully idyllic bay here in Greece, and it's a gorgeous evening, and I thought we'd have a barbecue on deck. So we're going to barbecue these chickens with some beer. Now, I know you're thinking that's not really unusual, having a beer with some chicken. But in this particular case, the fun thing is that the chicken are going to have most of the beer. So we're going to start with a rub and I'll talk you through it as we go, okay? So for two chickens, we'll need two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of English dried mustard, two teaspoons of smoked paprika, and about two tablespoons of brown sugar. And into that, about a quarter of a cup of olive oil. And then we'll just stir it around and it makes a nice paste. Voila. Okay, so we'll just clear this a little and move the chickens closer. And now just give the inside of the chicken a little bit of that. These are wonderful free range chicken, chickens I've bought today. And now this is the mucky bit. So don't be frightened to get your hands dirty now. Just gonna rub this all over. Now it might look a bit gross, but this will give it a lovely crispy golden skin. Turn it over, do the same on the other side. just rub it all through. It smells good. Okay. Now for the next stage. Well, I've just washed my hands and realized I've forgotten to season uh, the rub with salt and pepper. So I'm going to rectify that now with some salt flakes, both inside and out and some black pepper all over. That's good. And now for the fun bit. Take your beer. First of all, open your beer. And pour about a third of it into a glass, each can, bringing it to a good glass, in my case, for the cameraman. So, thank you, cameraman. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. And now, into that beer, I'm going to put a little fresh rosemary, some garlic, Wash it in. The cloves aren't too big. And maybe even a little thyme. Always lovely to have a few fresh herbs. So, into an oven proof dish with a little water in it. We're going to place our beer cans. There we are. And carefully lift our chickens. So they sit nicely on top of the beer, carefully being the operative word. Second one, be careful not to muck it all up. There we are. And now they're ready for the barbecue. Too cute, eh? Hey? Now here in the outside world, something seems to be afoot. 
or on four feet perhaps. It looks like a gathering of the clan on the beach. Hmm. Let's see what's going on back on deck. I'm the spud wrapper today. Yeah, Patrick's on wrapping the spuds in foil, ready for the oven. Very um, specialised task. And my lovely assistant, Gabby, is on coleslaw. Right away, Gabby. Brilliant. So cabbage, carrots, and we'll throw in some bird's eye currants at the last minute with a nice dressing. Meanwhile, back on the beach, our two intrepid wildlife photographers, heavily camouflaged on their blue paddle boards and a red swimsuit, virtually invisible, are creeping up on the family of goats. And the name I gave you was Katsika Banyo. Katsika means goat, and Banyo means bath or bathroom. Norell likes to call it Goat Spa Bay. Oliver's got the barbecue nice and hot. It's time to put the chickens in and let's hope they fit. How's it looking? Coming along nicely, just a little baste every now and again. And they're almost done. So, while we're waiting for these, um, these guys to absorb their beer, I've decided that I will, um, I will absorb one too. Um, in this case, a Greek beer, Fix. And there's an interesting story attached to Fix. Um, in the 1860s, when, uh, when the Greeks finally um, shrugged off the, uh, the Turkish occupation, which had lasted about 400 years, they decided on a monarchy and um, they went around looking for a guy and they found this guy Otto, a German princeling, who accepted to take on the role, but he did have certain conditions. And one of them was that he should bring his own brewer, a guy called, um, I think, uh, Johann Karl Fuchs, F-U-C-H-S, German name. Anyway, he, um, and he, he demanded also exclusivity for him, a monopoly for a hundred years. So, the Greeks, when they see a U, a U in Greek is pronounced like an I, and the CHS is pronounced like an X, so it became Fix, F-I-X. And when I first arrived in Greece in um, about 1977, 78, I can't remember, um, there was only fixed beer. There was no other beer available. And um, within about a year, other beers started creeping in, Henninger particularly, I remember, and then Amstel and Heineken quite soon after, and then Fix disappeared completely until about um, 30 years later 2009 it suddenly revived and I was very happy to see it back and um, it's a damn good beer so Thanks. cheers right the chickens are in the barbecue on deck um, the potatoes are in the oven I'm going to pop some garlic bread in my oven downstairs and before I cook the corn, which we'll have to start, I'm going to make a white barbecue sauce to go with the chicken. So, your ingredients are about a half a cup of a good mayonnaise, um, a couple of tablespoons of white, I've got um, apple cider vinegar, then we'll need two tablespoons of runny honey, nice runny honey, there we go, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, a mild French mustard, and then for a bit of kick 
a good tablespoon of a hot English mustard. Now, a couple of cloves of garlic, a good pinch of sea salt, and we will just whisk that around until it's ready. And believe me, this is delicious with the chicken. Now pour it into a sauce boat and it's ready to serve. Now this has always been a pretty tense moment, passing down hot and heavy things through the hatch. But not long after, it miraculously reappears, carved, dressed and seasoned and ready to be meted out, if you'll excuse the pun, to an expectant and salivating ship's company. The end of another magical day in paradise. Cheers. Bon appétit. Kali